Hi everyone, this is a quick video guide for packing everything Scythe related into the one box. On the table here is the Scythe Legendary box which you can purchase from Stonemaier Games and various retailers and I've managed to fit everything in this box without lid lift and without the use of third-party inserts or other storage solutions. I've only used the tuck boxes included with the Legendary box itself and the various bags, inserts and boxes that come with the retail game and the expansions. As for what's in the box, we have the core game components and all three expansions, Invaders from Afar, The Wind Gambit and The Rise of Fenris. I also have the extended board and the modular board. I have the metal coins and the realistic resources, as well as uh, most of the promotional cards and the 2018 Encounters expansion. What's not in this box are the Automa components for solo play. That's not because they won't fit, but purely a personal preference as I'm not a huge solo gamer. Also not included are the promotional power dials, and that's simply because I don't own those. A fair warning before we go on, this packing method does involve restructuring a lot of the Rise of Fenris components, and we'll be discussing some of those components in some detail. If you have not completed the campaign, if you do not wish to have this component spoiled, you may want to avoid parts of this video. I'll remind you again as we come up to each component, but you should know that going ahead. The way we'll go about the guide is I'll unpack the box, show you how each component fits, give you a closer look, and then put it all back together. So on top are the rule books. This includes the core game rules, the rules for the expansion, uh, the Rise of Fenris episode guide, the campaign log, the achievement sheets, and the booklet from the modular board expansion. They sit nicely on top. Underneath those, we have the three boards. That is the modular board, the board from the core game, and the extended board edition. Underneath those, are the four modular tiles from the modular board expansion. And as you can see here, the majority of the components fit into four tuck boxes and the miniatures fit into the, the inserts that come with the core game and the invaders from afar. The little box here holds the side encounters as well as some small components from the modular board. This one's purely optional, I could have fitted them somewhere else, but there was space there so I thought it fit nicely. So yes, the, the mech miniatures in the core game remain as they are. Uh, if you have painted miniatures, you may not want to use this method if you're looking for other safer storage solutions. But the core game miniatures are there and the invaders from afar miniatures. Then I'll show you each box in turn. So in the green box, I have everything cardboard. So inside are the player mats, the faction mats, the um, encounter and factory cards, the structure bonus tiles, the power dials, combat cards, everything cardboard related fits very nicely into this one tuck box. The second box holds everything uh, wooden and metal and resin, if you like. Um, this has in separate bags the components for each faction the realistic resources in their trays and in the bottom right corner the metal coins you can see stashed away there in their own bag so everything fits here very nicely and this does include all components um, or all wooden components that you get in the rise of fenris campaign as well the third tuck box holds basically the wind gambit um, as well as one component from the rise of fenris so if you have not played Rise of Fenris episode 2, you may, you may not wish to look at this box. So inside on top is the Peace and War track from the Rise of Fenris, and then the three cardboard components from the Wind Gambit, the resolution modules and the airship abilities, and, uh, and underneath that are the airship miniatures themselves. Now this, this last box, box A from the Rise of Fenris, holds pretty much everything from the Rise of Fenris. So here there'll be heavy spoilers, uh, please avoid this part of the video if you don't, do not wish to see um, some of those. Um, so inside this box is basically everything else from the boxes and the punch boards in Fenris. As you can see, I fit the smaller boxes with their components uh, inside here. 
the neck uh, changes are here and underneath that are the miniatures for the Fenris faction. Uh, the Vesna miniatures are actually in box C. Now you may have noticed I have gotten rid of the inserts that came with the Rise of Fenris for the miniatures. You may not wish to do that, I was not able to find a way to fit the inserts as well as everything else into this box. So this is the one sacrifice you have to make for this packing method. But it does mean that pretty much everything Fenris related is in one box. You can store it all nicely. Now, in terms of putting it all back together again, uh, it's quite simple. So the tuck boxes, they go uh, on their side. I know people have had trouble fitting them horizontally, but if you fit them on their side, they give you much more room uh, to play with. Um, so put the heavier ones towards the side. We want to heal. And then the Fenris expansion here. Uh, with the room that's left on your right, um, the miniatures fit perfectly. Core game miniatures first and then invaders from afar. Uh, in the top right corner I fit the encounters expansion. And now the tuck box from the Rise of Fenris is ever so slightly higher than the three tuck boxes from the legendary box. So I found that the four modular tiles fit perfectly underneath, uh, on top of uh, these three tuck boxes. The, the raised surface you get from the Fenris box uh, provides protection from this so you can place then the three boards on a nice even surface. And then we'll place the manuals, the rules back on top and close it all up. Now the thing I've discovered as well, um, I've packed each tuck box in such a way so that the balance distribution of the heavy items also allows for the game to be stored sideways. So on my shelf, the legendary box actually fits sideways. Uh, there's, there's no worry with this. So if you wish to do that, you're welcome to. So I hope this helps you pack everything away from this game into the one box. If you can see better ways, more efficient ways of storing everything else, if you have other ways that you do it yourself, please feel free to let me know in the comments. But I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.